Pie class, I am attempting to do a demonstration with the self-hardening clay that was sent to you to mill that it looks like this. So I've actually opened mine up. This is what was inside. So if you do want to use this again, you're going to want to make sure that you have it sealed airtight and probably add some water to it because it dries out really, really quick. So the first thing that I did is I took a little piece off and I'm making the base for my spiral clay pot. So I'm just kind of pressing down. If you had a rolling pin, you could roll it out. And then what I'm doing is I'm kind of flipping it over. You will notice that the air, uh, the clay is drying pretty quickly. So I have some water that I'm just dipping my fingers in and kind of trying to get rid of those cracks in the clay. So you don't want to make this too thin. You probably want it about half an inch thick. When you have that done, the next thing you're going to want to do is cut your base. So I um, always like to do kind of a circle when I'm doing the coil pot. You could be creative and do something else though. So I just have a knife and this does not cut as easily as regular clay would, but we'll just do the best we can. So I'm going to put these little parts off to the side. Pretend mine's nice and neat. I'm kind of in a hurry, but I'm sure yours will look much better. Okay, so there's my base. We add a tad more water. So since we're using the coil method, um, I've tried to roll <laughs> some coils out. I will admit with the clay being dry, it's a bit tricky. You just take a piece and you kind of roll it back and forth like this, expanding the coil. Um, I have to add a lot of water to this because it keeps cracking. I'm going to start off with a different coil that I've made. I have a bigger one over here that I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is score. So I'm cutting just little lines around the edges here of where I'm going to add the clay. Doesn't matter what direction they're going. Then I'm going to get a little water, add that, and then I'm going to take my first coil for the bottom part. And you can see I didn't quite get it big enough, so I'm going to add a little bit more from this other coil. And you guys, I will tell you, with this clay, this is going to be a bit challenging, just because it's just, if yours is clay is like mine, it's pretty dry. So I just kind of add water. So maybe you won't get this built up really high. That's okay. Just do the best you can. And then... What you would do if you were doing this correctly is then is you would grab another coil and to build it up you would do your scoring and add the water and then just keep going and you can make it go in if you put it more towards the inside you can make it go out The thing is, you just really don't want all these cracks in it, and you do want it to be connected. Maybe if I use this knife, that'll kind of, that kind of gives it a cool texture too. The other thing you would do is say you have this built up as far as you're, you're, you're going to do it, so maybe you only have two layers, then you would want to, um, take some water and kind of smooth out the inside of this to make it all connect. So on the outside, you would see the coils still on the inside, though it would be smooth. And you guys, I am gonna give you an alternative option just because I, I know if I'm struggling with this, you might too, just because this clay is drying so quickly. If your clay is as dry as mine and you wanna do something else, I'm just gonna put this to the side you could do, this is what one of my other classes is doing, this is a relief, and I did use a coil. Now, I didn't make, you know, the pot, the clay pot, but I did use a coil to create this design. So if you want to do something like this, you would do your background, kind of flatten it out, cut, and then you would make your coil, adding water, and then you would create a design that way. So that's how I made that Y. The Y stands for Yoder, obviously. Um, but yeah, you can kind of be creative and just 
do the best you can. Another thing that I've had kids do before in the past with coil is make a snail. So again, it's not quite what the OMHS wanted us to do, but that's okay. We just gotta make do. And you can roll it up. Oh, and mine's breaking because it's too wet. But if you had enough water, you could roll it up like that and then you can make a little body and add it down at the bottom. Okay, so hopefully those will give you some ideas of things that you could create with your coil. Good luck.